Hello friends, welcome to the Golden Brick channel. Do you want to go to the future? Then buy a ticket to China. The Chinese economy is one of the strongest in the world. China has learned to build the longest bridges in the world, tunnels under the sea, skyscrapers in 19 days, hospitals in 10 days, and residential buildings in general in a day. China has built more expressways from scratch than the whole world combined. We have collected five of the most impressive mega-projects that have already been completed. Shanghai Tower Completed in 2015, the Shanghai Tower skyscraper is the personification of the growth and prosperity of modern China. The height of the building reaches 632 meters, 128 floors, and the area is 380,000 square meters. In shape, the Shanghai Tower resembles a slightly twisted pyramid with rounded edges. The tower is recognized as the greenest skyscraper on the planet. 27 wind generators are installed on in the upper floors of the building, supplying the building. On the 118th floor of the skyscraper, at an altitude of 546 meters, there is the world's highest observation deck. Visitors ascend to the 118th floor in a high-speed elevator in just 55 seconds. A 360-degree panoramic view awaits guests of Shanghai in the observation deck. Inside the Shanghai Tower, there are observatories, conference halls, a hotel, meeting room, a museum, shops, restaurants, gardens, and a shopping center. The skyscraper was conceived to become a special attraction and financial symbol of Shanghai. Ocean Flower Island This is a new tourist destination in China, the construction of which cost $24 billion and was carried out for eight years. The project was implemented by the Chinese company Evergrande Group, with the money of private investors without the participation of the state. The tourist archipelago consists of three artificial islands with a total area of four square kilometers united with each other. They have facilities for entertainment and recreation for people of all ages and interests. The islands are divided into streets, and all the objects are highlighted by an unusual modern system, which in itself can be a landmark. There are thousands of green plants on the island, all of them artificially planted and selected for the four seasons. There are representative offices of more than 200 world-famous brands on the territory, including 12 Michelin-studded restaurants. It will also be possible to visit maritime museums, cinemas, five-star resort hotels, shopping malls, theme parks and many other entertainment venues. As the resort's official videos say, China has done it again. There is no other entertainment venue on this planet that could surpass the island of ocean flowers. Opera House in Guangzhou Concrete, steel and glass. Talented architects managed to create masterpieces from these materials and the works of Zaha Hadid are a vivid confirmation of this. One of her grandiose projects is the Guangzhou Opera House. The theater was opened in May 2009, which was preceded by five years of construction and about $200 million budget. It impresses with its area because the territory of the Opera House complex occupies 42,000 square meters and the total area is 70,000 square meters. In total, the building is designed for 1,800 seats. The theater also has a small hall capable of accommodating 400 spectators and designed for small performances and concerts. The architecture of the modern opera house expresses the idea of fluidity and overflow. The theater consists of two walls, one of which is made of glass and the other of steel. At the same time, both flow into one another, forming a complex structure. Inside the building, associations with natural nature are also traced. The main hall resembles a cave with several tiers and galleries. The theater has become the largest center in southern China and one of the three largest theaters in the country, along with the Grand National Theater in Beijing and the Grand Theater in Shanghai. Qingdao Bridge The fifth longest bridge in the world and the first longest bridge across water spaces. The length of the structure is 42.5 kilometers, a world record for bridges built over water. The construction of one kilometer of the structure could cost up to $207 million. According to the British Daily Mail and The Telegraph, its construction cost $8.8 .8 billion. 
The facility was built by 10,000 people, divided into brigades. They studied work from opposite shores of the bay. Both parts of the structure were connected on September 22, 2010. 450,000 tons of steel and 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete were used for the construction. The bridge stands on 5.2 thousand supports. Its construction made it possible to reduce the distance between the city of Qingdao and the industrial suburb of Huandao by only 30 kilometers, and the travel time by 20-40 minutes, which repeatedly raised questions about the expediency of the expensive project. According to official statements, the bridge can withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8, and it is not afraid of typhoons. The structure has no equal among similar structures thrown across water spaces, and therefore deservedly takes its place in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's longest bridge over water. Jiazhou Bay is covered with ice for 60 days every year, and the bridge is the largest structure on the frozen waters of China. It is expected that the minimum service life will be 100 years. Fast Radio Telescope The largest radio telescope in the world currently operating is FAST, an abbreviation of the 500-meter aperture spherical telescope, located in southwest China and nicknamed the Chinese Celestial Eye. About $200 million was spent on the construction of a giant 500-meter radio telescope. The construction of the telescope has become one of the large-scale scientific construction projects of the 21st century. The Chinese even had to relocate almost 10,000 people who lived in a 5-kilometer zone. Their mobile phones and car alarm consoles created the strongest interference. The Chinese radio telescope is able to detect even the faintest radio waves emanating from celestial objects such as pulsars and entire galaxies. Also, experts do not exclude that it can be used to detect distant worlds on which life may exist. In 2016, the telescope began work. However, it was a kind of test program. It was commissioned only in January 2020, after the acceptance stage by government officials had passed. These megastructures are only a small part of those created in China in recent years. In the future, new projects of the People's Republic of China are probably being prepared which will make the whole world freeze in amazement. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which mega project made a great impression on you.